final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of an Nostromo. Signing off. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know facility. what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Lord Stencil here playing Alien Isolation as you can already tell and that was a really cool sequence which even though I've already seen I've actually played at two uh, like 20 minute uh, episodes before this I didn't really see anything other than I met up with a guy I'll be honest but um, I had to replay it because for some reason everything like went completely just fucked up big time but we are going to just continue where I was at anyway that's right, that one does nothing. Just get dressed and get out of here. Alright. Now this game is actually... <laughs> it kind of freaked me out in the beginning when I was watching that. Because the skin detail is so good. It's, it's freaky how close it is to real life. At least to me it is. I don't know how other people feel about it, but it's just freaking me out a little. Ah, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. 
I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? I don't know. She's Maybe. not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. I also noticed that their mouths, though, when playing the game, actual, their lip sync is a little off. And their lips don't move as well as, uh, as it would in real life. I don't know what that kind of can mean for it, but I just know it's a little iffy, if I can say. I never looked down here. What's down here? I feel like I'm in a plane with that thing down, even though I've never been in one. So I don't know, maybe, actually. I could be completely wrong. I could have went straight to Taylor. What is this? Is this like the docking? I'm guessing this is docking. Yeah, probably docking. So let's head this way. I think this door was actually locked. Oh shit. I moved some stuff. My bad. My bad, Holmes. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Waylon Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. Realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. I right, didn't talk to Samuels. All personnel to the bridge, approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. I just wanted to say real quick that look, they got Cheerios. It looks like Frosted Flakes too. So I think I can just stay on this ship and oh crap, I'm messing everything up. I'm walking away. I could stay on this ship and just eat myself some cereal and let them go about the dirty work. Yeah, I can leave. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how are we doing? RCMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep con so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Sorry that if I'm not talking. One, I kind of already played this part, so I'm just a little off. I'm kind of letting you guys see everything, for, as I did, because I didn't have much to say. This is really cool. I really like this game. Can we see it? Maybe. Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Yutani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Marshall? Mar Marshall, this is the Torrent. Say again.
The station's comm seemed pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Depressurizing. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shadow me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. That was quite a dramatic turn of events. And I'm not for sure if Taylor or Samuels made it out alive. Because Taylor's kind of heading towards a different area. Other than the Torrens or the Sevis Pool. So let's just, I guess, hope. Oh, cross our fingers? Maybe? <laughs> thing off. Shall we? Alright, there we go. Here is our save point where I can finally save. Beep beep. Gone haywire. Shit. I like their fire details. It's really cool. <laughs> this part, I think, this game has such good atmosphere. It's so freaky. Like, I mean, you guys can obviously tell it's, it's good. Definitely. And I figured this out. Control lets you move around wherever you'd like and C is to contrast. I thought that was weird. Terminal. 
corrupted file. Can't do anything with it. Oh shit, wrong button. No. I wasn't done. It might have something important. Okay, decommissioning. So boys and girls, well, you've probably heard the whispers about service pool by now, and I can confirm it's official. Service pool is being decommissioned. I'll go over each of you with what it means in regards of your contacts and next placement. But for now, we will have to do the job to do. The suits want this done and with a skeleton crew, which means we'll have to be getting out a few outside contracts to help. But it does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out, decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to Marshall Waits, Chief. That doesn't make sense. Didn't he just say, take what you need? Unless he's, oh, I guess that he could easily just be talking about your own. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. And we slide. God damn. This will help. Ooh. Oh, I forgot. Let's see. Oh, it's hard actually. <laughs> Touch. Uh, there we go, that's how I place it. I don't really need that flare, but I just kind of wanted to let it out. But there's another one, so it's okay. What's gay? If anyone heard that, Savannah's right now laying in the background. I'm sure you probably Hello? Anyone here? Oh my gosh. She's on her iPad playing away. Saving in progress. Let's use this. Booga cha cha. Booga cha cha. Booga cha cha. And now the power level is on and the power is activated. I can get into this terminal and turn the power on. Ooh. Zero three four zero. Zero three four zero. I remember that. Public notes: We have had a long journey together, but it's sadly coming to an end. Sega Sun Corp would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who worked with and lived on the Seven Pool over the years, in hopes that Sega Sun has helped to make a productive and rewarding environment. Our investment and belief in the station has never wa wa wavered. Be sure that Sega Sun's Apollo Central AI and working Joe Androids will be there to serve Service Pool until the last rivet is removed. We wish you all the very best for the future after all. Service Pool isn't just a station, it's people. Sega Sun Corp. Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait up. Wait! Don't leave! This is where I came from. Yeah, it was. That's retarded. Don't go on this. Zero. Three. Four. Five. Awesome. Too easy. Oh. That could be one. Of course, I don't have all the stuff, though. 
sir. I will get it here. Now I did. Boom, boom, boom. Back. What if I can craft another one? Nope. Missing that front. Alright, let's go through that other door then, I guess. That's kind of all we can do. I remember you. When I first went through, I thought maybe it was one of those just effects that you could still walk through. How dumb was that? I hit it. I got hurt. Here's the prettiest part. Space. It still gives me the chills. I should be trying to find people. As well as the vast long term population. Nearby, our law enforcement officers are in the Marshall Bureau, ensuring round the clock safety. Finally, okay, let's look at this one. Zoe, I'm sorry, but I need, won't need you to come next week, as you know the store's been in trouble for some time now, and I'm not gonna hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one coming to Sunday School anymore. It's not just either. Or it's not just us either. It sounds like the whole station is in the red. And they're pulling the plug. Alright guys, sorry about that. Actually, I'm going to have to cut this episode now. I was just told, time to go to work. Basically. So I'm going to just save real quick. And I guess that'll be it. I, I kind of already had the close to the time I wanted to do. I want to do 25 minutes. So this should obviously be close enough. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, check in for more, obviously, because I will be doing more of this game because it seems really cool so far. And here's the vent. Alright. Now, I'll see you guys in another episode. Goodbye, everybody.